everybody and welcome back to NACDS TV. I'm Sarah Solomon coming to you from the 2015 NACDS Regional Chain Conference. This is where regional chain executives have game changing conversations that drive consumers to their stores. Driving shopper connection stems from delivering value to customers. Jeff Gregory with Nielsen shared data with attendees that prove an engaged consumer is a loyal consumer. Gregory encouraged regional chain executives to continue to provide content in their advertising. Things like a loyalty program, store brand, and a good sale are all great ways to deliver value. Keep in mind, technology defines each generation unlike anything else, so utilize mobile apps and social media to reach out to consumers. When it comes to front end, it's all about diversifying. Things like fresh foods and specialty drinks are all great items that provide front end balance. Consumers, uh, when it comes to healthy assortment, they're confused. Okay, so uh, we want our cake and we want to eat it too. So you need to have some level of health, so you know, organic, protein fortified, um, things that consumers can't regularly get in their, in their diet, but they also want some indulgences. So we see salty snacks and new age beverages and energy things, you know. Uh, so you have to really balance that front end to make sure uh, that it's as diversified to capitalize on the growth that you want. Retailers, here are five key areas that drive success convenience, price, social value, shopping environment, and assortment. Over 70 strategic partners are here to increase their exposure, build relationships, and enhance their image with chain retail executives across the country. These one-on-one -on -one appointments is their chance to have tailored conversations about what works and what doesn't in their regional stores. It's all about collaboration and helping each other out. Um, I, the exchange of ideas are just extraordinary and you know they're generally not competitors in the same market so they're willing to uh, provide a lot of give and take and so the whole industry really becomes very successful as a result of this meeting. Everything is moving around a different type of care delivery so expectations around health care aren't any different. Great care comes with exceptional treatment. Pharmacy based point of care is adding tremendous value to consumers. Having access to immunizations like the flu vaccine for less is a unique dimension that is creating a loyal consumer base for regional chains. Everybody is so stretched for time. Everybody wants to hit everything in one stop and, and having a pharmacy is really an opportunity to combine you know one more uh, errand if you will in that in that trip plus it it ties together with what a lot of stores are trying to do with other you know dietitians and, and really being kind of a health focused and the pharmacy is really at the core of that and has been for for a number of years so why pharmacy let's start with accessibility most pharmacies are open late and are located in numerous locations. Again, a value add to the consumer. 90% of the U.S. population lives within five miles of community pharmacy. Uh, the hours with pharmacy uh, uh, aren't your typical doctor's hours, not nine to five. We're typically open uh, late in the evening, sometimes 24 hours, and most of us are open on a weekend. So, uh, you know, we're there for the customer any time of the day. Backed by popular demand, labor and employment attorney Deborah Kelly took the stage to talk about the trends you need to know about in the workplace. The people who work for you are the face of your pharmacy, but with personal life on social media and corporate boundaries clashing, it's important for managers to keep up with the law. The key is to hire right the first time around. Make sure that internally they have the procedures in place so that if any employee should encounter any discrimination or conduct that would be inconsistent, they know who to go to, the person they go to knows what to do. They understand that the world of social media is so big now, how to encourage it while discouraging inappropriate use of social media. Mark your calendars for the 2016 NACDS Regional Chain Conference, February 7th to the 9th at the Marriott Harbor Beach in Fort Lauderdale. We are calling it a conference as we wrap things up here at the 2015 NACDS Regional Chain Conference in Naples, Florida. Great content and idea sharing happened between regional chain executives this week, but we're not done just yet. We'll leave you now with some sights and sounds from the NACDS reception, dinner, and entertainment coming up next. For NACDS-TV, I'm Sarah Solomon. We'll see you next time.